What's up, you guys? <clears throat> Sunday, November 2nd, and I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in front of the camera in a while. So, just checking with you guys. Um, we are a week out from the competition. The competition is next Sunday, so technically six days out. But I wanted to show you guys some toys that I found for the next go around after this meet. Uh, we got this bench block in. I ordered a one bench block. So yeah, this is the one inch. They couldn't fit it on this one because there's just no space. Um, this is the two block, three block, where's that? Three block, four block, and five block. So that's what all that is about. Got the one block. And actually, the one block is about $27. And this, they surprised me. LiftingLarge.com, you guys, they surprised me. Thank you guys over there at LiftingLarge.com for hooking me up with a free uh, two through five block. So if anyone is interested in this, uh, if they would message me, I could give them a deal on that because it does work. I love the bench block, you guys. It's a great, great tool for uh, working on your sticking points. But as you can see, this one is the one I've been using lately. So. That's the one that went through this last training cycle. But that should last me a long time. The bench block is a good tool. And also we got these nose torque. Nose torque, smelling salts, aqua ammonia, super potency. You know those, uh, you know when football players, like they pop those capsules and before they go out um, and sniff them, that's what this is, but this is in the crystallized form in the bottle so I actually tried these out anyway sorry my roommate walked in but uh what is it uh, nose torque aqua ammonia and it's so strong you guys that like if you smell the bag okay here I'll put it for you guys yeah you smell that yeah um <coughs> if you smell the bag <coughs> it's still pretty uh, strong so uh yeah when you open the bottle uh, you'll see me doing this on Saturday I'll I'll be recording on Saturday for the meet, but uh, at the meet, I'll be opening a fresh bottle of these and using it for my, probably my second and third attempts so that uh, I'm ready for them, or extra hyped up for them, but yeah, I'll take this out of the bag, but that's what it looks like. Look out for it on Saturday, liftinglarge.com, you guys. Back in the gym for the last bench press session before the meet, and uh, I just hit the same numbers that I hit the first week, so I tried to match my PRs that I hit earlier in the week. So here is me acclimating to 225 for a double, which was the heaviest uh, regular bench press set that I did this day. And the person that's spotting right now is uh, one of my frat brothers. His name is Ben, so gave pretty good liftoffs and was spotting me the whole time. I was giving him tips the whole time, uh, pinching the shoulders, not moving the feet on the ground when it gets heavy. To, so basically just having a firm foundation. So I kind of like told him how to establish a firm foundation for the bench press because that's one of the things I didn't think about before I power lifted was that your foundation is really important for the bench. And if you like wiggle your feet on the floor or your shoulders aren't tight and tucked then you bleed power and that's power that you could be using to push heavier weight so everything works together for the bench press it's believe it or not it's like a full body movement you use your leg drive from the floor to help you push the weight like the power that you generate from the floor when you push with your feet actually is uh, transferred to the bar but here's 225 I will just let the rock clip play So that was 225 for another double, which matched my PR from earlier in the week. So in the meet, I'm going to try to go for about 250. That was my goal for the last meet. I only got 232 with a 235 gym PR. And right here is just some block work. And what I need to do for next program is uh, to 
program myself so I have linear progression on the block work. So I have set numbers that I have to hit because after 225, I'm totally smoked. But like, if I hadn't done the 225, I would have made that last uh, bench block that you just saw. But here are a couple sets of slingshot. I really think this helped me acclimate my body to holding up heavy weight at the top and not intimidating myself with the 20, 225 or any PR in the future that I will hold. But overall, I'm very happy with how I've used the slingshot in this last program because I didn't use the slingshot in the last program that much. And I do think that it helped a lot to aid in my bench press and the progression and just getting stronger at it. And now that I'm t benching twice a week, I have seen a lot of progress with that. But anyway, um, back to these accessory movements. And uh, uh, together dumbbell presses, very good movement. Um, uh, yesterday, which was the second, today is the third for me. And yesterday, which was the second, I woke up with a terrible sore throat. And uh, I'm trying to get over like this mini sickness that's going on before this meet. And just for the sole fact that I don't want to be sick on the day, I want to perform op optimally and not uh, be, not have my performance degraded because of some like cold that I have right now. So I'm trying to get a lot of rest. I'm taking this whole week off from the gym, and I, that's not abnormal. People ask me like, "So you're hitting the gym every single day this week, aren't you?" Before your meet, and I just answer like, "No." Um, I'm giving my body rest, so it's 100% by Saturday, and also to get the sickness out of my body, um, I don't want to be sick at all, but anyway, I will be weighing myself and probably doing a mini cut for the weigh-in, so I hit it like with no problem, but yeah, the gym now is not as crowded as it, as it was like in the beginning of the school year, I think everyone jumped in in the beginning of the school year, and it was like, yeah, I'm going to get so ripped, like, I'm going to go hard at the gym now, but, like, school kicked in, and, like, the crowds at the gym kind of died down a little bit, so I think that that's what that was, but it's kind of nice now because I don't have to wait as long for equipment or anything, but this is the last clip of the workout, and this was the last exercise of the day. It was reverse flies. It was a drop. I, we did four sets before this, so it was, like, six, 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 and then five reps, and then we did this drop set. So it just burnt out the, the rear delts here. Felt really good. Uh, I had Ben filming this workout for me. So thank you, Ben, for recording with, for me. And it's just nice to have someone to help me record because it's kind of awkward, like, setting up a tripod and uh, awkwardly just filming yourself. People start looking at the camera or whatever. But um, it's just something that has to happen. But thank you for watching this video. Um, the next video will be the meat video, so look forward to that this weekend. I'll probably edit it on Sunday and release it on Sunday as well. So thank you for watching. Oh,